come up here on Bremerhaven Manager Mode. Well, in our last video, St. Paul's got himself a goal to make a heartbreak for us here in the DFB Porter Cup as we got a chance of progressing into the second round or even go to penalties. But unfortunately, St. Paul's scored in the last minute of the game for them to progress into the second round and we are eliminated once again. Our last league match was away from home against Palabor, our first away game of the season in the good old second division of the Bundesliga. And things didn't go well for us as Palabor got himself a goal from a goal from Grimardi to make it 1-0 to them in the matchup. And a great goal scored for him in the match. But as of the next goal was scored from us here from Fisher to get a goal back in the matchup to try and get something out of this match. And we did. In the 16th minute of the matchup, we scored back a response after conceding the first goal early on to the game. And then Palabor got themselves back in the lead as a great goal scored from Grimaldi again for the second goal he scored in the game. And it looks like our goalkeeper Dion couldn't save that one. And now it's 2-1 to Palabor away from home. And then things got bad to worse as we couldn't see a third goal and a hat-trick from the exact same player from Grimaldi to make it 3-1 for Palabor in the match. And however, things got bad to worse straight from that other goal came in. Another one went into the back of the net to make it four goals to one. And really in a way, it looks like they've run away with it here. Atrocious defending for us as Grimaldi puts him Scott on the score sheet again to score his fourth goal in the matchup in the first half to have five goals conceded in the first half of the game. And then just before half time, again from Grimaldi, scores his fifth pass here on Bremerhaven. And that was very disappointing and also in the game. Things still continued in the second half for us as we consider another goal against here Palabor to make it seven for Palabor here. And they are really running right here at home. And then, however, we got ourselves a goal back in the match to make it 7-2 in the game as Mayer got himself on the score sheet and puts it into the top corner of the goal. But it was enough for us as we lost the game by seven goals to two against Palabor. And now the big ask after losing 7-2 to Palabor, can we look for our first win of our league season in the second division of German football as we host Nuremberg at home at the Longville Stadion? As your commentator is going to be Derek Ray and Stuart Robson. Hello, it's great to be with you. And no problems at all on the weather front as we get ready for this match. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And coming up for you, action from the Zweite Bundesliga. How do you see the match going, Stuart? Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. the lineup for the hosts today well in this 4-5-1 as you would expect it's a very compact back four a midfield five with a mixture of qualities and a front player who will threaten the space in behind the opposition it looks a good team to me Look at the starting 11 for Nuremberg. Well, plenty of attacking width in this 4-3-3, but they'll need to get their midfield players to join the centre forward as much as possible. If not, he'll become isolated. And now they get the ball rolling. An effective challenge. Hayashi. Well, using the space really well, you've got to say. And Fisher. 
Not made it look routine, but read it well. Closing down well. Well, diving magnificently to make sure he got there. But he's gone short with it. And pulled back. Can they forge ahead? No, chance missed. And a big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent, so what should we expect to see from him in this game, Stuart? Well, he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Three goals in the last three games. He looks a real threat whenever he gets the ball, and I'm sure he'll add to that tally today. Well, there's an example of how to press high up. And it's played into the centre. Oh, really good header. Really fine goalkeeping. And the corner has been given. Might jump in front. Well, the keeper, chance maybe. And held by the keeper at the second time of asking. Well, he's just pulled off a great first save there. Now they can all calm down. Zimon. And fed forwards. And he's in an offside position. He's found a pocket of space. Who can he pick out? And disappointingly, not even close to hitting the target there. Yeah, he was looking to open up his body, guide it into the corner, but he's got it all wrong. It's a poor attempt in the end. Fuchs. Well, nothing for them to worry about in the end. Good defending. And he's broken free. Oh, goodness me. He made it far too easy for the keeper, didn't he? What can he do with it now? Oh, danger here. Well, you've got to give him credit for that piece of defending. an opportunity oh his eyes lit up thinking it was about to be the opener well just the lack of composure he should score there now what can they produce on the flank oh great attacking play Firing it in. No problems for the keeper. Teammates available. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, magnificent save. Well, he's just pulled off a great save there. What reaction from the goalkeeper that was. Struggling to get it away. Asking a lot of any player, quite honestly, to score from that position. Well, I don't need to say too much about that, do I, Derek? Well, they're trying to get right into his face. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there it is, the half-time whistle. You might say he'll be happy with some aspects of his performance so far, but not every aspect, Stuart. Well, it certainly wasn't his best half of football. He was slightly off the pace, and he gave the ball away too easily at times. But we know he can do much better, so I'm expecting more from him in the second 45. Well, as they get the ball rolling again, interesting to see how the second half pans out. considerable progress with the ball and there is the opening goal 
Well, arguably against the run of play, they've been second best up to this point, but they have the lead. Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. They're back underway and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Brown. We're using the space really well, but now can they push on? But a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. Kula. This looks more than decent. Oh, surely. And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And the finish is clinical. He just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Hayashi. And fed forwards. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Daichi Hayashi moving the ball forward with purpose. Fine tackle there to prevent the chance. Could pull one back here. And the attempt just wide. So unfortunate. Well, they've decided to make a change. Kula. Promising looking attack. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Twenty minutes to go. Hayashi. He has teammates around him. Oh, he looks threatening. Must score! And it's in! This game very much back on as a contest! Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plum. It's a great goal. Here's Weber. Back down to the goalkeeper. Bush. Now well, we're inside the final quarter of an hour now. Zimon. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the referee not messing about. He's cautioned him. Well, it had to be a yellow card, and he knew it was coming. Kula. Opportunity to deliver the cross. And they got into that crossing position, but dealt with defensively. Well, they're moving it around with real purpose here. Will he finish? Oh, and it goes! Now he has his hat-trick. A special moment for him. As you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. So 
there it is. 3-1 the current scoreline here. Hayashi. And a throw-in it's going to be. Well, the seconds are ticking away, and the home side in control. Stuart, what have you made of this? Yeah, clearly the better side. Obviously being fantastic up front, but it's their work ethic for me. They're just not happy unless they have the ball, and they're fighting to win it back whenever they do lose it. It's been a really great performance all round. Is it going to be? And a goal to settle the issue once and for all. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. Goals in plentiful supply, 4-1 currently. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? I was particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively, almost cutting through at will at times. The result was never much in doubt, if I'm honest. This is our first win of the season for Bremer Hyford, as four goals from Meyer in the second half, as it was nil-nil in the first half, but in the second half, were actually on fire. And we've got four past Nuremberg, and that puts us in the league table in eighth position with one win, two draws, and one defeat. And that puts us in that exact position right there on minus two on goal difference and five points so far this season. And can we carry on this consistency on our next video here on episode 4 in a couple weeks from now? But until then, for episode 4, we'll see you soon.